Good morning. Today we're going to do a simple um, neutral look using the Naked 2 palette. I've already primed and um, put a base coat of a neutral shadow down, which would be this one right here. And that is Foxy. I'm going to go in with this uh, colored called Tease. I'm going to put that right in my crease. Um, more focusing it on the outer corner and bringing it into the inner corner. It's just a nice subtle color. I mean, on my skin tone, because I'm really pale, it's kind of a deeper color. I'm keeping it higher because of the way my eye creases. So when I go like this, it looks kind of highish, though I'll blend it in. When I close it, it settles right, right in the right spot. So learning your eye shape and how um, to interpret certain eyeshadow looks on your eye plays a big part. And you can pretty much do any eyeshadow look. You just have to learn where to apply the shadows on your eye to get that look without it not being there. That makes sense, you know what I mean? Like some look, some people have these big giant lids where they could do whatever they want and you could see it no matter what. I have a hood on my eye so I have to kind of play to that. It's all about figuring out your eye shape and what works best for your eye shape and going from there. Don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid to try colors that you normally wouldn't. Guess what? It's makeup. It washes off. Like on a day you don't have much to do, sit there with a mirror and a couple of brushes and some makeup wipes and, you know, just be careful because you don't want just start rubbing your eyes too much and get your eyelids raw. Like maybe getting some Marcella water or micellar water, however you want to say it. Um, and use that to gently pat clean your lid. And that stuff works really nice and it's gentle. It takes off waterproof makeup too. Obviously, when you're learning to do eyeshadow and you're just practicing for the day, you can skip up an eyeshadow primer. It's no sense priming it. I mean, unless you're practicing one and whatever one turns out the best while you're doing it, you just stop it there and that's your look, then okay. But other than that, I would not even bother putting a primer on. Then I'm going to take combination between uh, these two shades right here this gray and uh, kind of they're both grays but it's just a, one's a little too light one's a little too dark so I'm just gonna knock off some extra dump the palette down on the ground I didn't mean to dump the palette on the ground and let's go on my lid with that And that's the lid shade. Now it's kind of like, you got to remember, like, I swooshed the lighter, swooshed the darker, swooshed the lighter. Kind of got to remember how, which way you, uh, took it on your brush because it can alter <laughs> the look of the eyeshadow if you're not careful. Because if you put the darker one on the, uh, top once and then the darker one on the bottom next you're gonna end up with a slightly different hue so i'm taking just the lighter shade and placing that on my inner corner the water duck quack moo <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not sorry 
I'm looking for my little brush. Come here, come here. Little brush. I'm going to take this uh, deeper brown shade right here, which is busted. knock off excess and that's just gonna stay in my outer corner This is my clean blending brush. Just kind of smoothing that to go a little bit into where I want it to go. Does bully yes. Repeat that on the other side. Just keeping this up a little bit. Blend it in. And then I'm going to get a pinky lip. I'm going to go with the pinky lip and for under my lash line I am going to use um, snake bite this color and kind of just take it a little bit under my lash line here just to add some depth not going too crazy with it but you can see the difference as I just wiped my nose with it. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm gonna put mascara on, but I mean, the lighting, it's kind of a dark, gloomy day, so it's not like the best sun, coming through so you're not really seeing like I have all the house lights on and it, it's just a dark gloomy day and it's making me have the, these weird green cast I'm not green I swear and if you were green it's not easy I love Kermit Kermit the frog All right, now I just have to go get uh, a lippy and put a lippy on. But this is basically the look. I'm going to go add some curl, I know, curl to my hair. Because it's kind of a frizzy mess right now to tame it. But it was just like a simplistic 
look for a nice Sunday day. Sunday day day, day day day. <laughs> Love you all and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.